Hey guys, this is Evie and we're talking about mental health today and more specifically how to deal with the self-blame when you are also dealing with depression. Now honestly, the whole self-blame part of depression deserves books and movies and it's a huge topic. So in this video, I'm just gonna try to help you gain a bit of perspective and hopefully challenge a little bit those self-blaming thoughts. I'm gonna start with a story that happened a few years ago. I was talking with this woman and I still remember it so vividly because it just hit me so deeply. She was saying how she has this beautiful three-year-old child and she would say, is the best child on earth. He's so cute and I just, I'm so lucky to have him and every mother would be just happy to, to get up and play with him and spend time with him, teach him different things and I, she said, I just want to die and I don't have the right to feel that way because I have this beautiful child and I'm the most terrible mother on earth for even thinking that way and I fear that me thinking that way will somehow not only change my behavior because I, I don't want to get up. I want to get up, but I don't want to get up. I see that he is there smiling at me and I want to have it in me to get up and play with him, but all I want is lay down and sleep. And that's how I feel, which means I'm not making my child happy. And what I fear the most is that he'll grow to be like me. He'll just see me being like that and learn it and turn into me. And I'm afraid. I'm afraid I'm hurting my child by being this way. She then said something that I, I, at this point I was already thinking, okay, this is the worst feeling probably on earth. But then it got worse because she said, if I die, my boyfriend, they weren't together. There were, there were some issues, they weren't together, but her boyfriend was from a wealthy family or somehow she said normal family. And she said they have finances, they have the good environment for the child. So if I die and they take care of my child, my child will be happier, wealthier, and probably just also healthier because it's not gonna see my behavior. So by me being alive and around my child the way I am, I'm hurting my child. And the best thing I can do is remove myself from the picture and this is gonna help save my my son's life. When I heard that story and I'm trying to like give you the, the thing in more rational way but when I was there sitting I, I was like tearing I was like not just feeling bad I was feeling hopeless because on one hand I couldn't give any solution that was before my psychology education whatsoever but also I felt like I'm not supposed to say anything because I myself have been struggling with depression I had my first suicidal thoughts when I was 10 years old and I was just sitting there and thinking don't say a word Evie because you are no authority to speak about this you are a hypocrite if you're trying to solve depression when you are feeling depressed as well. Very much later in life I learned that depression is something that only two kinds of people can understand. The person who has gone through it and can relate to your feeling because you cannot explain depression to somebody who has never felt it. And the second type of person who, who can help you is a professional, somebody who has been trained to deal with this. So nobody knows how to cure cancer better than a doctor who has learned this and also sometimes a patient who has survived cancer can know a lot on the topic because they went through the process, they know the medication, they know the steps, they know the feeling and they can actually be a source of information to you to actually know what to right. do. So from that perspective, I'm creating those videos as well because I went through knowing, experiencing, learning and reading and just I put all of it together and decided to why not help people? Not because I'm perfectly put together. I don't actually think anybody's perfectly put together anymore at the moment. I look at a person a bit deeper. I start seeing problems. And this is fine because this is how life is. Life is not meant to be perfect, linear, uphill all the time. It's ups and downs. It's our journey. It's totally fine. We're just here to try and help each other along the way of what we're doing and we try to leave things a bit better behind us. At least that's what I prefer to believe in and I try to, to live by these rules, makes me better and 
helps. Self-blame with depression comes from two main sources. The first one is that it doesn't make sense to you. In a situation where you have an event, somebody died, somebody uh, got fired, you got fired, you lost a relationship or a child, anything that really happened like an event and you feel bad after that is explanation for how you feel. You can justify how you feel. You can explain it and you can feel allowed to feel that way. You can be understood by others. With depression, it's not the case because when you feel depressed, there is no, usually at the moment, there is no event. Whatever happened to trigger it, it's a bit behind because depression is something that is already a biological change in your brain. There is a neurological difference in your brain. When neurologists look at fMRIs from a healthy or like non-depressed patient and depressed patient, they can see differences. So at the time when depression is already the disease that it is and can show in different results, like you can run tests and see it, at this time, there's usually no event anymore. The event, the trigger, the trauma happened long ago yes. when you sit there with your feelings, so with the symptoms of your disease called depression, you cannot justify it by anything. And usually you actually see all the reasons why you shouldn't be depressed. I have this beautiful house. I have this beautiful family. I have this beautiful three-year-old son. I have job that can pay the bills. I have family that I can call and talk with them. I have friends I can call and talk to them. I have a partner or I have a cat or I have a dog. Or I'm not supposed to be depressed. Of course, people don't understand me. Of course, they don't help, support, understand anything about my situation because it does not make sense and me being like this is just a burden. I am ruining everybody's day. If I talk about it, I better not talk about it. And then it gets worse, worse, worse and worse, right? Okay, how can we fix that? I know it's gonna sound hard, but try to rationalize this. Think about it. If you had cancer, would you blame yourself for feeling sick? If you were going through a chemotherapy, would you have blamed yourself for feeling exhausted, for feeling pain, from wanting to just lay down and sleep all day? Probably not. You may still have some sort of self-blaming because some people are very self-critical, but it would have not been the same for sure. So the thing with cancer versus depression is that cancer is something that we assume already is a disease that happened to us. We cannot anyhow predict it, escape it. It's something that just happens to us. We are not to blame. Depression is the same, but this is not how we look at it. We look at it as, oh, well, we just think that way. We made ourselves depressed because we were not very nice to ourselves or our family environment wasn't nice. So it just created this and it's just kind of like it happened to us because we were not strong enough not to allow it to happen or we don't even see it as a disease and we just, oh, well, I'm just feeling bad because I'm not strong enough to feel better. So that perspective and that difference creates the whole problem. And the solution comes from that problem. The solution is look at depression the same way you're gonna be looking at as cancer. And for example, one lecture I recommend you is Dr. Sapolsky. He's talking about depression and the different areas of your brain that get affected by depression, how depression does not look the same in everybody's brain. Like depressed patients are not showing the same uh, changes in their brain. So I think watching this can help you realize that this is a disease as everything else. It's not your control, your fault. And also it can help you stop not just blaming yourself or blaming others, because the whole blame actually is very expanding. I think once you start blaming, you never stop blaming. So for example, when you feel bad and let's say your mother doesn't seem to understand or your partner and they don't seem to help you to feel better, there's a point in your experience that you probably blame them for not being supportive and not being understanding and not knowing what to say and what to do. Ask yourself the same question. If you were having cancer and your mother or partner who are not a doctor don't know what to do to heal your cancer, 
Would you blame them? Probably not. It's the same thing. So I'm gonna leave the link to that lecture I'm talking about. I hope it helps you. And I'm just recommending you not a therapy again. Put down all the things that you would say or think if you were having cancer and then put down the things you say and think when you're having depression compare them see the difference and this is this is where the problem is they shouldn't be so different both are diseases that happen to you that you cannot just control and snap out of it they are therapy medication methods psychedelics there's so many different ways to do and deal with it they usually take time it's not successful to everybody same with cancer not everybody gets healed some people are needing more time or more different methods some people not it's something that can be cured or you may have to learn to live with it this is called functional depression and there are methods also to help you live with it but yeah it is not your fault and it's not anybody else's fault it's just a situation that needs to be resolved and it is very likely that on the process of trying different things you are actually at least gonna feel better and find some really helpful solutions among the pool of you know options that you really have